Good afternoon, folks. I hope you had a correct week because we're going to have a correct session on conversation with you for the next 10 minutes. I promise you it will be the most insightful and exciting session for today. Right? We're going to talk about conversation media. I'm sure many of you must have had uh, experience of social media, print media, digital media, TV media, and whatnot. Right? Conversation media is a whole new category that probably I pioneered and we are making brands part of everyday conversation. I remember my childhood, Mark Agriti Sudhod saying, Beta call Colgate Kia Kini. I remember my college days, friends had their notes, Xerox Karate Leo. Remember those physical conversations that we used to have with our friends and family members where brands were already a part of that conversation, right? We used to take brand's name as an analogy to the whole category itself. Gone are the days when such physical conversation used to happen. Now all of those conversations have moved online specifically to smartphones, to WhatsApp. That is where the role of new conversation media begins. How do we make new brands or the existing brands part of such new online smartphone conversations that are happening in billions 70 billion plus conversations to be precise happening in India every day. So with that note, um, I'll begin. At Bobby AI, we have an ambition to enhance those smartphone conversation experience, making them much more expressive, personal, localized, intelligent. Right? And we do it through various deep tech innovations around typing, languages, voice, camera, content, etc. And we were wondering, you know, if we have to build a platform that can solve this uh, problem of making brands an uh, integral part of daily conversation, how do we do that? We saw how Instagram and Snapchat had built a platform on top of camera utility. We saw how uh, True Caller was built on top of phone book utility, or YouTube, a platform built on top of video player as a utility. We were thinking what would be the best uh, channel for us to build a platform on, and that's how that's when we identified the keyboard utility. Right? And we transformed, we reimagined the keyboard utility into a holistic platform. We called it conversation media platform. Right? Just imagine how integral role keyboard plays during those smartphone conversations, right? and how um, seamlessly. It, it, it gets integrated in your conversation experience. That's why it was a very natural and organic choice for us to use keyboard as the base for our platform. There are many other reasons why keyboard. Right? There are so many billions of conversations happening uh, on smartphone. People are spending 30 minutes on an average cumulatively on that keyboard real estate, that 40 to 50 percent real estate that captures the WhatsApp or any other, for that matter, application real estate, right? People are making more than 80 to 100 sessions every day on the keyboard, right? There's so many searches happening via keyboard. There's so many conversational intents getting generated via keyboard. And that is why this was a very black, you know, this was a very powerful tool on the top of which we have built the conversation media platform. Um, and when you look, when you go deeper into how this platform operates, you would see every conversation happening on such chat application carries some intent, right? And those intent actually lead to decision making for them. This is the source of intent. Just imagine if we could capture those intents right at the source of this generation. We process these insights. Uh, and derive in-depth smartphone user insights, right? And we use this insight to fuel various marketing campaigns, right? We do it via, uh, you know, there are three different ways we, we use these insights for delivering marketing campaigns. One of them is data as a service, right? Such meaningful data, such insightful real-time intent and mood of the consumer, smartphone consumer, is can be offered for delivering market insight, market research, or marketing campaign activation. Right? We'll talk about it in detail uh, subsequently. 
The second uh, way we we help marketeers is through content, conversational content driven marketing campaigns. Right? It could be conversational content floating on different social or chat apps, or it could be conversational content that can be integrated within the chatbot experience for the naked chatbot that we plan for the event. And finally, we enable commerce within the conversation experience by doing deep strategic integration with digital service provider into that keyboard real estate. Yeah, so based on uh, a vast number of user base that Bobble has today, which is 75 million plus, based on uh, the inputs that people are making using the keyboard real estate, based on behavior that they are showing across smartphone usage, the kind of application that they uh, more frequently visit when they're spending more time on uh, in different languages, we are able to derive competitive intelligence and market insights. So we have created an eye with a you know, visual dashboard that helps brands and digital service providers to understand how the consumers, the end consumers are behaving. Right? We help them understand how, their, they, how the end consumers are behaving on their competitive application or their competitive product. Right? And this is such a such a powerful insight that helps these brands in you know making certain strategic decisions. And we don't just stop there. We let these market insights to be you know we enable these market insights to get activated in the form of marketing campaigns, right? And um, you can see there are various different types of. Uh, intent that we capture, it could be intent, it could be product affinity, and there's a GIF running on the background where you see the kind of intents that are getting captured. Now it could be based on the user's uh, app usage, or it could be based on their product searches that they're making on Google or Amazon, or for that matter, which food item they're searching on Zomato, etc. Right? So, um, yeah, so these, based on these intents, we are able to create audience cohort. Uh, you know, audience segments, and these audience segments, uh, along with the market insights, can be coupled together to activate in any of the marketing campaign that people want to run on any of the BSP, Google, Facebook, YouTube, etc. Right? And all of this happens in a GDPR compliant manner, privacy secure manner, right? Um, in a not just legally compliant, but also ethically compliant manner. So we have developed proprietary technologies to actually keep us uh, privacy compliant. Um, yeah, so that was data as a service. Now, um, in terms of, uh, you know, so that data as a service, of course, something that happens in the background. We work with different brands and advertisers to enable their uh, marketing insights and marketing campaigns. But on the foreground itself, we have a real estate which is very strategic where conversations are happening, right? And this real estate, from this real estate, there are billions of emojis, stickers, and just that are getting shared. This is the language of the millennial, right? If you combine the content sharing, the uh, content consumption happening across the likes of YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, even together, all of them do not, uh, you know, they, they do not contribute 50% of the content that gets shared during the chat, during the conversation, in the form of emoji stickers, chips, right? It has reached, it has unimaginable reach. While social platforms could, could be limited to a particular uh, demography of the user or the, uh, you know, the different uh, segments of the user, but when it comes to chatting, when it comes to messaging, there is no limit. Everybody who uses a smartphone is messaging today. Everybody, I'm sure you would, uh, if you start counting the number of emojis you have shared today or during a chat message, you would see the kind of reach and scale at which content is getting shared, right? We help brands in owning the category of such content, right? Be it, uh, uh, you know, let's say a brand working in the travel category. We work with AirAsia, I think AirAsia came over here, just before me. And we did a campaign with AirAsia where people were traveling uh, during, uh, you know, uh, while they're talking about their travel plan or during their travel, 
they can use those AHS stickers which are which gets recommended to them in real time while they're chatting on WhatsApp, right? Or uh, we did a campaign for uh, uh, bingo, right? Uh, people talking about snacking activity while they are watching a movie on Netflix. Such an apt uh, time to display a bingo sticker which people can share with their friends and family members, right? There's so many other campaigns that we did in the past with so many brands and you can see the kind of recommendation, the relevant recommendation that we throw to the user through the keyboard real estate, right? And this has been working amazingly well for our brand partners in terms of brand lift, uh, awareness, uh, purchase intent decision, influencing, etc. This platform, this media is full of truth, depth and influence, right? People are talking to their friends and family members. They are not uh, strangers talking, right? They're the intimate, you know, one-on-one -on -one intimate conversations happening in small groups. Uh, there are other content formats that we have in offer. Uh, so sticker gifs are typically in the moment smaller format of content. Then we have got larger formats like stories, bobble stories, which are typically, you know, we have case studies of HDFC bank, and care and security, etc. where they use these larger format of content to uh, wish their clientele. They deploy this content format amongst their sales representatives who could actually float this content among their clientele, right? And thus create a personalized and impactful greeting during the festival times. It has been a hugely successful campaign for us. And then uh, while these content are, um, you know, uh, becoming popular because of the distribution that we do, we also make some of these popular content when the brand wants to, uh, you know, uh, enter into the uh, lives of metaverse, right? So one of the campaigns that we did with Kama Sutra, for example, you can see an NFT that we minted for Kama Sutra based on a conversation media marketing campaign that we did for them, wherein we had created 12 different uh, stickers, uh, which was, uh, you know, distributed to millions of users on WhatsApp, but then some of the popular ones was also minted as, as NFT, and those were sold to uh, the real people, and the proceeds of which had actually gone to a social cause. Right? Now we're thinking about how to use these NFTs in exclusive metaverse that we can create for brands, right? creating real value out of those NFTs. So we, um, you know, uh, this definitely uh, it's an extension of, uh, we see it as an extension of conversation media, making it um, a part of conversations happening in metaverse, not just smartphone conversations. Right? Be it conversations happening on chatbots, business to customer conversation, right? We empower those conversations through our content API, all language API, thus making, uh, you know, thus adding the element of movement of delight into those uh, chatbot conversation, which are typically very boring in nature, right? So as you can see, different, depending on different context, uh, the, the chatbot is able to reply or respond to the uh, end customer with a very relevant graphic, which is, uh, which is very precisely communicating the emotion and message and converting the moment of frustration sometimes that happens in late deliveries, etc., to a moment of delight. Uh, conversational commerce is another offering by Bobble AI where digital service providers are able to uh, literally rent the real estate on the keyboard uh, and thus be omnipresent inside the smartphone. Whichever application the person is using, they can actually access those services literally on their fingertips. Um, yeah, so there are so many brands that we have worked with so far and I wish that many of the marketeers sitting in the room would consider investing into conversation media just like they did invest into social media a decade ago. I think time has changed and therefore time to level up the game and conversation media is the thing. We have a, we have a very lovely experience you will set up outside where we are demonstrating some of these campaigns that we have done in the past uh, which you can experience in the mobile metaverse Right, where we have all uh, different uh, uh, 
uh, campaign being uh, demonstrated in a truly immersive manner. You wear an ocular and you are able to visualize uh, and feel uh, the campaign that we have done in the past. So you are most welcome to our experience show right after the hour. Thank you so much. Thank you.